Alrighty, YouTube. So what is going on today? Coming back you with some more commentary for today. And let's see what we got. We have Snow versus Roz 1122. And oh, it looks like it may be true Dracos or Monarchs or a burn deck. Um, going up against we don't know, but it has 15 extra deck and it also has 45 with 40 no, actually 44 cards. That was right the first time I was about to start. And it looks like uh, he did not open up the greatest, or he may he may have. So <clears throat> while Roz starts it, her or his turn, I would like to say if you guys do enjoy this video, leave a like, leave a comment, and also subscribe if you have not already. And if you guys can, click and add to help support the channel. I'm very appreciate it. I appreciate it very much. I don't know why I repeated the same thing twice, but yeah, thank you guys. So if you do click it, if you don't, oh no, so we're not about to watch this duel. Be right back. All right, so here we go with the second duel. Um, first duel, we was not gonna watch that. That was probably gonna take 40 minutes of just pure ass. So it looks like Pasco Rita, what? I'm not even gonna cry. Rika versus Yui, or you. Looks like they both going scissors, so it looks like they don't care about going first. No, it looks like uh, you cares about going first. Let's see what's going on. And he does go first with three extra deck cards. Jesus Christ, can I pick a good damn duel? Huh? Pick a real good duel. Uh, so let's see. Ooh, obedience school. Never. All right. So we, we're definitely going to see some um, different stuff today. Something out of the ordinary. Let's see what he's going to be doing. Is it going to be a Wing Dragon Brawl summon? Is there act? Is it? Act, I, I cannot possibly believe that it's going to be an actual beast deck because. Um, he only plays three extra deck monsters, and am, am I wrong? I am starting off wrong already. Because this young man, for some reason, is only playing three extra decks. Okay, so it looks like he might go and send Turtle Stall. Might as well get two tokens right there. Not even going to get the tokens, it looks like it's going to be sent Turtle Star. So it, it, we're going to give this probably to turn four. And we're going to find a different duel because I don't think I want to sit here and watch some, uh, the same two. What is it called? Sand Dying. Oh, I've been saying the Sand Dying. It's fucking Sand Dying. Alright, so there's the Scorpio. Let's see what he is playing. Let's see what he ditches. Is he playing Predator Plants? Ooh, it looks like he may be. Maybe playing Predator Plants. It looks like he just opened up both Scorpios. Is he going to get a Brilliant Fusion? Oh, it looks like we're in for it, folks. Let's see what he actually does. Activate this young Brilliant Fusion. Let's see if you can get over the same values. The number 64 is the raccoons. And he's going to go into a grand pulse. Good card. You're going to pop the back row so make sure this brilliant fusion goes through without any interruptions. Let's see what it is back there. It was a magic cylinder, so it is one of them decks, but it looks like Yui or U UA. I don't know how you, you know, what inflection you use with it or something like that. But <clears throat> it looks like he's going in, and the reason, not the reason, but uh, I think that he does have something to get over that because of what he's doing. It's going to send Trick Clown, so I can't imagine it's Minerva. I've never seen Grand Oh, okay. There's a Venus, and we're not playing Link Summoning, so he literally had all the Link Summoning cards. <laughs> like, that whole play was a fucking Link Summoning play. So let's see what's going on here. Um, it, oh wait, he can go into that Psychic. Oh, I think he can get over this. I believe. If he's playing Psychibus, he is playing Grandpa, so I, I believe he may be playing that Ghost Trick. And the Ghost Trick can pop and give him a token. So then it's, it's this. Right. He's going to quit. Rika's going to quit. But it looks like Venus is stopped in his tracks because I don't I don't think. Oh wait, it can't be destroyed by Carter. So never mind. I think that he, he, I think Yubi realized it, or, 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 or I don't know, maybe he just stopped. Did he not get Trick Clown? I could have swore I seen a Trick Clown. That was a Christmas. Oh, oh my god. Folks, come on. Instant Fusion. Okay, what is it, be a Theseus? Okay, there's a Theseus. Um, he can go Michael. Um, he can go... Well, that, that's the end of Raccoon Stall. That's the end of that. So, Rika's going to probably quit. And we're going to get ourselves a new... No, he's not going to quit. He's actually going to play it. Okay. 
was actually I mean, well, I mean, there's not really too much he can do. Like, it's pretty much pointless now. I mean, your whole deck is got stopped after, you know, one turn. So, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what we going to do. Um, but it, 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 they are playing, so let's, they might have another obedience school. Maybe can get right back out of this. Maybe what they can do, and that's exactly what I was going to say, too. This card right here is the one that this card is special with the two-star. Uh, Marshmallow. Okay, does he play... Oh, no, there's a wind-up kitten. I would bounce Grand Pulse. I would bounce Grand Pulse. Um, that's, that's not something I would have bounced. But, hey, this is not my deck. He probably knows what he's doing. Uh, okay, he's going to another raccoon. This is, like I said, this is just not going to end well. We get a token. We're gonna possibly attack over Shirai Knight. I would imagine so. Actually, I'll attack over Venus. To be honest with you, okay. yeah, I'll attack over Venus. That's a pretty decent play. Because so you know, Venus is gonna get you a guaranteed two monster Shirai Knight. I mean, it's not a guaranteed two monster. So. I mean, you can get an extra normal something, but it's not a guarantee. I'm pretty sure he's not playing on it, so I'm pretty sure that was the safest play he could have did. Um. <clears throat> So yeah, let's see what the Rika. It looks like Rika is not giving up so easily, but let's see what Yui has in the bag. Let's see what they can do with this deck. And he's oh, he's actually playing Agent. Then he's going to another Moonlight. That's fucking sick. He's gonna go into another Moonlight. That all oh, that has to hurt so fucking badly. He's just going to go into another Moonlight. Oh my God! And he has an extra normal summon. So now he can go into Jupiter. Jupiter pierces, I believe, right? Yeah, no, it doesn't do it. Um, going back right to the moonlight, just bounce the fucking. Actually, uh, is this more damage? Yeah, it is more damage. Actually, it's the same amount of damage. That really didn't make any sense. Oh shit, there's our period. This game is over, folks. Wow, I gave it to turn four and turn four. Wait, was it this duel? I don't know if it was this duel or was it the duel before. I said one of them was to turn four. It looks like this is the end. Of Rika, uh, I mean, hey, you're playing a, 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 a trolley deck and you got stumped in Hyperion. I mean, Agents. Wow. You know what? Let's see if we can get one more duel of Yui because I ain't seen Agents in a minute. So let's see if we can find another one. And we can find another one because it is a rematch going down. All right. So let's see what Yui can do with his Agent deck. Um, I believe I uploaded a video about Agents, um, or Agent Duel, probably a couple of weeks ago or something like that, but Agents, when they were one of the top tier decks, man, that deck was so crazy. I, I re okay, no, I do remember specifically saying that exact thing, because, man, Agents were, yeah, yeah, you get, yeah, I'm telling you guys, go, go look up Agents from, like, 2011, that deck was stupid, man. He was playing Trag, Gores, VLSs, that deck. I mean, that deck did some things. All right, so he's going Sky, Sky Cavalry Centuria. Centuria. And that's actually a good move to start off with because he can just attack it to the Raccoon and bounce it to the hand. We're back to the extra deck. And Rika cannot do anything about it. So, but he does, uh, Rika does open up with another obedient school. Which is a fucking fantastic because this even what it's not even once per turn. This is literally not even once per turn, folks. You know how crazy that is? That is not even once per turn. You know what he can do? Yeah, like I said, he can go double raccoon and get uh what's the name? Just get two two thousand tokens and attack it to it, and then I mean it pretty much makes what's the name obsolete. I wouldn't have turned those into attack though. That's something I wouldn't have did. He must have uh United We Stand or something. He must have something to improve their attack. Because there's no reason to put him in attack mode. I mean, I can see putting one in attack mode, but not both. Well, it doesn't really matter. One's in attack mode, and both are. Um, he's going to take the same amount of damage because <clears throat> my opponent decided they want to be. Oh, he may be playing Mage Power. No, it's not. No Mage Power, no United Stands. Okay, so he should. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so my man Rika is making some good throw. My girl Rika is making some good ass. Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> he, he, I mean, hey, shit, my head was in the exact same spot. I 
I thought that I, you know, it would bait, it, bait, it would bait it out, but I completely forgot it cannot be destroyed by battle, and it's not mandatory. Actually, you know, it's not, it's not mandatory, so you don't even have to do it, which is crazy. Let's see what UA has with his agent deck. Twin Twister, Jesus Christ. This, oh my God, what a trick line. Let's see what he has face down. Oh my God, a jar of avarice. And a quaking war force. This has to, this has to really hurt. Riga really, you know, came out swinging, but it doesn't look, it, do, it doesn't look like it's, oh my God, it doesn't look like it's ended up well. Is he gonna go Core Dragon, or is he gonna go Brio? <clears throat> um, what did he search? I'm pretty sure he searched Jupiter. Search another Jupiter. Let's see, he's going to start his charge. Oh my god, now that's even better. He can go and start his charge and attack literally every single one of them. Um, attack, attack, attack. He can get he can hit him with 2,000. Not only hit him with 2,000, he can crash to the token and then use cavalry to bounce it back and do, actually do 3,000, which is good. Let's see if he actually does it or if he does not. And he doesn't even need to do 3,000. He can do 2,000 and be fine with that. But, I don't know, man. He can do, yeah, he can do, but it doesn't really matter. Maybe runs, oh, a magic cylinder. That was a word, that was not the right card to put it on. You're gonna take, you can still attack everything, so it doesn't, whoa, wait, what? I forgot that Charter's Charter is not really coded right on this game. So, they don't let you attack everything, so it's kind of, it's, it's kind of weird. Because he should still be able to attack the, the other two. But yeah, I, I don't think it's coded right on this game. Because like I said, you can attack all spots on the monster. Okay, there you go. Any what? Why, why would you? You could have easily did a thousand. You could have did an extra thousand and put him at six. So let's see what Rika can do. Rika's gonna get herself another token. I don't know. Rika sounds like a girl. And then the the, the Cuda at the end, it, it sounds like a girl. So let's see what's going to go down. Get himself another token. But he summoned the token in defense, and it looks like Rika is conceding. There's not really too much uh, Rika can do. I mean, this is why you don't. Oh my god, yeah, this is open. This is why you don't play three. Just percent. You don't ever play just. If you have. It, just fill just fill out your extra deck, folks. There's literally no reason to play only three. Unless there's a certain card that says if you play three or some shit like that, then there's literally no reason to be playing three exact extra deck monsters you should play the max of 15 at all times unless you're playing a deck or a card specific cards that say you cannot have this amount of uh, extra deck monsters you need this amount of extra deck monsters but if you if you just have a random deck you never know what you might run into so always have 15 extra deck cards no matter what i don't care if you can't even go into them you never know you might mind control something and be able to go into some shit you never know. But let's see what Yui can do to finish off his duel. I'm pretty sure he's thinking of game here. He's calculating what he can do. He's thinking of the plays he can go around with. Let's see what's happening. He has another Earth. That's disgusting. That's just hurtful. He can go ahead and go into another Moonlight Rose. Bounce that back. Attack. Oh, this is over, folks. This is over. It's not looking good. Is not looking good. Let's see how many extra. I mean, how many agents? I mean, let's see how many agents fairy he has in the very What the are you doing? One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, that's disgusting. Sadly, can I get the um? What's going on here? Is that the two? The two attacker? Excelsior. Don't tell me you played the Zolkin. Don't tell me you played the Zolkin. Oh my God, he played the Zolkin. Oh, that's disgusting. This man, Yui, has the agent deck for the ages. Crystal Wing, Single Dragon, and the Ancient. And the. And, and, and uh, what's the name? And the agent deck. That is crazy. And it looks like <clears throat> this duel is all but over. I don't know how. I don't know anything that this man can do, Rika, or she can do to get out of this. To get out of this. You limit yourself with the extra deck. Is this what happens? Did he attack the fucking XYZ? He didn't even attack it. I don't think he attacked. No, he didn't attack. 
Well, you, you limit yourself, so now it looks like it's going to be it's going to be over. <clears throat> Chris Wing going in for the attack on the token. Calvary's going to do the job on the Sandayu. Sandaya. Sandayu? Is it a U at the end? It is a U. Sandayu. And it looks like it is completely over, barring a miracle from Riga. Our obedience school can get you right back in the game. Um, oh, oh shit, he's actually playing, he actually is playing, uh, what's it? He actually is playing the, uh, God cards with the obedience school. Okay, so I can understand why you only play three, but still, you shouldn't be playing. I know you don't really need to go on your extra deck, but there's no reason to, you know, limit it at three. He has another obedience school, folks. Oh my god, can this be the comeback of the ages? Can this be the comeback of the ages? Folks, I don't believe it. Actually, there's nothing he can do. Yep, there's just nothing he can do. Because even if you do bring out a god card, uh, like I said, if you bring out a god card, he, I mean, it's just going to attack over with crystal, so it doesn't really matter. Go into a Sundayu. He's going to use the effect. Get negated by Crystal Wing. Let's see. Because it cannot be. This card can't be destroyed. Anyway, I, I don't see how this man is even getting out of this. And now it just seems like a formality as of right now. I'm just going to play it out. Just going to end strong, I guess. Yeah, this is, this is over. Well, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy it. <clears throat> just going to. Go ahead and what? You don't even have another what's the name? You easily could have won if you had this launcher. You easily could have almost owned a monster and did even better. Well, folks, I don't think too much has changed. I don't really think I want, we want to sit here throughout the whole deal. We're already going on 17 minutes, so I'm gonna just go ahead and pause. Actually, no, no, we might as well just finish it out. Finish it out, folks. That's what we're gonna do. We'll just finish it out. There's, I don't. I don't know any way they can. I mean, Dark Hole. The Dark Hole can get it back. Dark Hole Obedience School would be stupid. But like I said, you can't really do anything because you only have one extra deck card now. Um, there's not really. There's not anything Rika can do. Um, if, if this was a God card, I mean, Crystal Wing gets over every God card. It's just. Stormy Mirror Force. I don't even know if that doesn't even work. Um, the, the Fire Mirror Force can do, what, 2,500? That didn't do anything. If that's a Marshmallow on it, it still loses. Let's see what's going on. Oh, my God. He top 50 scored. Yeah. This is just disgusting. Folks. He plays double guarded. <clears throat> Cobra, I don't believe he used it this game, has he? Nope. Jesus Christ. Man, I, it, it, I guess it is an Agent Deck, but it isn't. It's not really an Agent Deck. It's not really, it's only like, it's, it is an Agent Deck. I guess you could call it an Agent Deck. But it's not really too much. Why did you go in there in defense mode? There's literally no reason to do that. Um, it's gonna pop it, that's gonna search. Surges. Yep. Surges a divine monster. And he added a slifer. He's gonna set the brilliant fusion, I hope. So Zolkin is gonna get the moonlight. I, I, I would be very remiss if this man plays more. What the fuck? Well folks, this was this was a game. This was a game. I'm pretty sure there's a marshmallow on down there. Nimble with manga! Oh, but he gets negated. <laughs> it sucks. Oh, yeah. Well, this was a uh, out there duel. Took 20 minutes to finish. Rika finally surrendered. But I, I believe it was a match. Yeah, I believe it was a match. Two games. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I hope you guys did stick out to the end. Uh, yeah, so see you guys uh, with the next video.